Alright, looking at 5.1, multiplying polynomials. So let's look at the first expression here. And in particular, these three pieces right here. Alright, the first one, that's this one over here, is known as the, let's see, coefficient. The coefficient is the number that is in front of letters. The letters represent variables. So the coefficient is located in front of the variables. The whole variables together, x squared y, represents the term. So we want to combine like terms. We, we would add or subtract the coefficients of terms that are like. So we're going to see examples of this and collecting like terms and such. Now, the degree of a polynomial is the highest total value of the exponents of any term with an expanded polynomial. So we want the whole, highest total value of the exponents of any term in an expanded polynomial. So in this case, this polynomial being one term, has a degree of 3. 2 and 1 makes a total of 3. Let's look at more examples to understand degree a little more. So we have a table here and you're asked to name a polynomial, the number of terms, and I'm going to show you an example of it and finally the degree. We're going to state the degree. You won't be asked too much information about the degree of a polynomial, but I want you to be aware of what we're looking at so that if I ask you for a degree 3 polynomial, you could generate one. Now, the first one, name of a polynomial, for example, a monomial. The second polynomial you would have learned in grade 9 is a binomial, and the third one is a trinomial. Now, anything past trinomial, folks, we usually say it's a polynomial. If it's one of these three, then they specifically have a specific name. So a monomial has a total of one term. An example of that is like the example we had earlier, which is 3x squared y. Now if you remember how to find degree, the degree of 3x squared y was 3, because we take the term x squared y and together, the total value of the exponents is 3. A binomial has two terms. This is an example of a two-term binomial. Now note here, each individual piece is, has its own degree. The highest value is the degree of the entire binomial. So here's 1. The degree of that is 2. And the degree of that is 3. That's right, it's 3. So 2 and 3, which one is higher? Hopefully, you're saying 3. And now, let's look at the degree, uh, sorry, of a trinomial. Trinomial has three terms. Terms are separated by plus or minus signs. So the third one is going to look like this. 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. Let's determine the degree. This is a three-term polynomial because there are three individual terms. The first one has a degree of 2. Second one has a degree of 1. And the last one has a degree of, that's right, 0. The reason why it's a degree of 0 is because there is no x located there. So between all of these three terms in the trinomial, which one has the highest? Well, hopefully you're saying this is the highest, and that degree is 2. So the, the degree has nothing to do with how many terms there are. It has to do specifically with the exponent on the term and the highest value. All right, moving forwards. Example 1. You're asked to expand and simplify the following. x plus 4 times x plus 3. What is that expanded? x plus 4 times x plus 3 expanded is going to be, let's see, how do we do this? Well, 
in grade nine, you should have learned something called similar to the rainbow effect or FOIL. FOIL is you expand by multiplying the first two terms, the first in both brackets, the outside numbers in both brackets, the inside numbers in both brackets, and finally the last numbers in both brackets. So that FOIL, F-O-I-L, describes how we're going to expand this. So the first one is going to be x squared. The second one is going to be plus 3x. The third one is going to be plus 4x. And finally, the last one is going to be plus 12. So we did it by color coding of the rainbow. Once you do that, you take collect the like terms, for example, 3x plus 4x, and that gives you 7x. So you have x squared plus 7x plus 12. Next one, you have x minus 1 times x plus 2. Expand it using the rainbow effect FOIL and you get the following. x squared plus 2x minus x minus 2. So x times x is x squared. x times plus 2 is plus 2x. minus 1 times x is minus x. And finally x times plus, sorry, minus 1 times plus 2 is negative 2. So this is what we have here. Collect the like terms. These are like right here. So you'll have x squared plus x minus 2. All right. Let's keep moving forward. C, C, 2x plus 3 times x minus 4. Expanding this, you get 2x times x, which is 2x squared. 2x times minus 4 is minus 8x, plus 3 times x is plus 3x, and finally, plus 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. So you have 2x squared minus 8x plus 3x minus 12. Collecting like terms, you should have 2x squared minus 5x minus 12. Let's look at one more example on this page. What about this one? How do we expand this? Well, give yourself a second, pause the video, and try this yourself. When you're done, unpause the video and continue watching. All right, you're back. 3x times 5x is 15x squared, minus 6x, minus 5x plus 2, and you should have a total of 15x squared, minus 11x plus 2. All right, on to the next page. There's some more examples. What happens if it becomes more complicated as such? What do we do here? Well, folks, it's going to be, it's going to be important to remember the following steps. You want to get the brackets done first. Leave this three outside. Do not touch him. Leave him out there. So you have three and bracket inside 8x squared plus 4x plus 6x plus 3. What you've now done is just expanded this double set of brackets just like we've been expanding this whole time, but we left the 3 outside. He's not allowed inside until after we have uh, um, expanded the and collected like terms on the inside. So we collect the like terms, folks, and we get 24x squared plus 30x plus 9. We expanded it by taking the outside number and multiplying the inside. All right, let's go to the next example, F. Here we go. And what I want you to do is pause this video now and try this example. Try it now. Pause it now. Okay, we're back. Again, what is the rule? Make sure you do the brackets first. So expand out those brackets and you get the following 5x squared minus x plus 45x minus 9. Once we do that, collect like terms and finally expand it. And this is our solution for F.
negative 10x squared minus 88x plus 18. The reason the signs change is don't forget, there was a minus out here, so every time we multiplied it in, it changed the sign. All right, let's go a little harder. Here we go. What do we do with a question like this? Well, this 4 can go into this bracket. This minus separates these pieces, so this minus would be applied to the multiplication of all of this once we've calculated the multiplication. So let's look at the first one. 4, at, four times 8x is 32x plus 12. And that is 4 times 8x is 32x, and 4 times plus 3 is plus 12. Then we have our minus, and we're going to have a bracket. So we put this set in brackets to understand that it doesn't have anything in front of it. We've already multiplied the 4 in, and we can stop doing anything with it. Now, the second part, we need this bracket here because there's a minus in the front. We want to expand it, so we need to expand this properly. When we expand it, we will have x squared minus 2x plus 2x minus 4. And what we'll end up, we'll end up with 32x plus 12 minus... Now, before you're wondering, where did that go? What happened to the bracket? What I did here is this will res result in, this will be 0 right here, negative 2x plus 2x. This whole thing will be 0. And we'll have x squared minus 4. So what I chose to do, and you're allowed to do this, is expand with the minus and, you, uh, uh, and simplify at the same time. So the minus x squared and then minus minus 4 will be plus 4. If you decided to expand it with the minus 2 and the plus 2, you could have, but it would have eliminated anyways. So we have 32x plus 12 minus x squared plus 4. And finally, we have to rearrange it in order from highest degree to lowest degree, and we have negative x squared plus 32x plus 16 as our final answer. All right, moving forwards. Next one. H. Here's another example of one which is a little more complicated. Here we go. So what do we do here? Well, just like we did the last time, we expand the brackets first and leave the number on the outside alone. So 3 stays out and we expand it 2x squared plus 10x minus x minus 5 and then minus 5 and bracket the next one 6x squared minus 9x plus 8x minus 12. And that again guys is just fo fa is foiling this out, expanding it out to get those values. Next step is multiply the 3 into this set of brackets and simplify at the same time, and multiply this minus 5 into these brackets and simplify at the same time. What do I mean by simplify? Well, 10x minus 1x is 9x. 9x times 3 is 27. So you have 6x squared plus 27x minus 5, 15, sorry, because you're multiplying 3 times this, which is 27, and 3 times negative 5, which is negative 15. Next stop is to multiply the negative 5 into the next set of brackets, keeping in mind that negative 9x plus 8x is negative x. So we have negative 30x squared minus 5x plus 60. All right, we're not done yet, though. We need to collect all the like terms. So by collecting the like terms, we get negative 24x squared plus 32x plus 45 as our final answer. And folks, that's the end of it. That's the end of the videos for, to, for this section, 5.1. See you in 5.2. Have a numerical day.